Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today we are going to be doing three looks with the Kaleidos and Angelica Nyqvist Club Nebula palette. Look at that! And inside she looks like this. I do have a first impressions video up already so I will link that in the cards up here for if you want to go check that one out first. So if you want to see three looks, including this one, and hear what my final thoughts on the palette are, then just keep on watching. So for today's look, I am first going to be going in with Rock Hopper. And I'm just using a big Morphe fluffy brush. And I'm going to be taking that through the crease and just blending it out. I've been so excited to do more looks with this palette. It is absolutely gorgeous. So I want to get this video up in time for the restock because uh, they are restocking on the 17th. And they don't know if that's going to be the last time or not. So as I'm filming this, it is Valentine's Day. So I've already managed to amuse my boyfriend. Um, because where I'm not able to get out at the moment, I can't walk far and everything, I thought, oh, I'll order a Valentine's card from Moonpig. Um, so I went on there and there's this really cool card. And it's got Yoda on it. And it's like Yoda Best or Yoda One. Yoda one, I think it is. Um, so I've filled out the bit for the middle. I've written the lovely message. So to Dave and all these nice words. Put a picture of us in there and ordered it. And then I get the confirmation email. So I think, oh, I'll have a, a look just to see what it looks like. And uh, the name on the front hadn't changed. <laughs> so, uh, it says Yoda one Frankie and uh, that's not my boyfriend's name <laughs> so uh, the joys of being on lots of medication so yeah that's uh, that's amused him this morning all right now we've blown that out a bit I'm just going to go back in with a bit more just to deepen it up in the crease I think this colour here, quite possibly along with gravity, are my favourite colours in here so far. This is just such a beautiful shade. And very, very unique to my collection, I think. Yeah, there is quite a lot of kick up in this shade, but I don't mind that at all not when you get payoff like this so just getting some nyx glitter primer just pop a bit on my hand i'm just going to be roughly placing that on my lid and just above i don't need to be too precise i'm doing just a nice simple look today okay so glitter primer on and i'm going to be going in with you're my only hope i'm just using a little flat brush by morphe and just placing that all the way across the lid just a nice simple look here such a beautiful shade I absolutely love this and then just dipping back into rock copper just to blend that outer edge in and then with a big fluffy morphe brush I'm just going to dip into Nauru just a little bit 
just to use that to blend out the edges there. And then just back in with the shade rock hopper. And then just using a smaller Morphe brush, I'm going to go into Rock Hopper again and just take that onto the lower lash line. And just smoking that out. So for the inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm going to be going in with Firefly. I'm firstly going to pop on just a little bit of NYX Glitter Primer, just to make sure it's got something to stick to. So I want it to really pop. And just on the front part of the lower lash line there. And then with just a little, little Morphe brush, tiny flat one, I'm dipping into Firefly. And then I'm just going to bring that just onto the very inner part of the lid there. I'm just going to use Nova to go on my brow bone. Just a little bit of that. Yeah, that's perfect. So I'm happy with how that's looking. So I'm going to nip off and finish my face. And then I will come back to show you the finished look number one. So here is finished look number one. I'm loving this palette. I cannot wait to play with it some more. So I'll just tell you what else I've popped on my face. I've got the Barry and That's How I Roll Mascara, the Artitude Cosmetics Lashes in the Style Doll. In my waterline, I have the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in Go Green. The liquid eyeliner I have on is the Artitude Cosmetics Catitude 2-in-1 Liner and Lash Adhesive. The blush is Chatty Cathy from Pout and Shout. The highlighter is also from Pout and Shout. It is the Happy Glow Lucky highlighter in the shade Lucky Dice. And the lipstick is from Lime Crime. It is the Velveteens in the shade Moonstone. So let's hand you on over to future me with look number two. So for look number two, I firstly primed my eyes using the Be Perfect Perfect Prime Eyeshadow Priming Base. There's a lot of prime in that. Um, so I've primed my eyes and today I firstly want to go in with Samus and I'm going to take that on a Spectrum B07. And I'm just going to be taking that through my crease and blending it out. Again, there is quite a bit of kick up um, from the shadows, but I don't mind that. And it usually, for me, indicates that it's going to have a lot of pigment. You only need to just dab your brush in and that's dabbed and tapped off. I'm really kind of blending that out up towards my brow there so at the moment I just want to get a nice wash of colour I love how these shadows just blend out on their own so they do all the hard work for you which I have to say I appreciate that's blended itself out beautifully. And then next I'm going to be going in with Red Giant. It's beautiful deep matte red, it's gorgeous. And I'm gonna take that on a Jessup 223 Petite Eye Blender. And this one I am going to be concentrating in the outer V here. Look at the pigment of that. 
That is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just bringing it onto the outer edge of my lid here. Just really want to concentrate that colour just right in that outer V. And then very gently just drag just the tiniest bit to blend it in. So gently fluffing out those edges, just really gently tapping and wiggling a little bit. I can't get over how easily this shade is blending. That is beautiful. And then just taking the tiniest bit of Samus, the first one, just to go over these edges a little bit. And then back in with the red giant brush. I haven't added any more product. I'm just flitting between the two brushes to blend them together. Not that they're really requiring any blending. Okay, so now I've got that blend to a stage where I'm happy with it. I'm going to pop on some NYX Glitter Primer and then come back to finish the eye look. Glitter Primer on. So the first shade I'm going to be taking is Nebula. This beautiful shimmer here. Nebula I'm going to be focusing on the mid to outer part of my lid. Look at that. So I've got to show you the brush. It is just a Morphe flat brush. This is so pretty. So I'm just taking it at a diagonal. So next I'm going to be going in with Celestial. I'm going to shimmer it down the bottom here. I'm just going to take that on a little Morphe flat brush from the M -M -M Mitchell collection. And Celestial is going to be going on the inner part that we have left open. Oh, I had a feeling these two were going to look amazing next to each other. Look at that. I'm just tapping it over Nebula. And then just using the other side of the brush, I'm going to dip into Nebula a little bit, just to tap back across. I am loving that. So I'm just going to go back in with Red Giants. I'm just taking a little bit of that just to go back into this outer V and just blend into the mat there beautiful and then just gently dragging that underneath just connecting the upper and lower lids i'm just brushing that gently right up against the lash line i don't want it to come down too far and then dipping slightly into samus i'm just going to Blend out those edges, just taking the tiniest amount at a time, but using a big fluffy brush just so that it really kind of blows it out. So for the inner corner, I'm going to be going in with You're My Only Hope. And I am going to be taking that on a little Morphe Diddy flat brush. And once I've got that on my brush, I am going to spray. Look at that. Just uh, dragging that a little bit underneath there just to blend it in. That is absolutely stunning. And then just putting a tiny bit up there using a tiny bit for the brow bone highlight. 
that is looking gorgeous so I'm just going to quickly nip off and finish my face and then I will come back to show you finished look number two so I'm back with finished look number two let me know what you think in the comments section below so I'll quickly let you know what else I've popped on my face the mascara is the Barry M that's how I roll the black eyeliner is the Artitude Cosmetics Catitude Liner and Lash Adhesive in one the lashes are from Artitude Cosmetics, they are in the style Envy. In my waterline I have the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Peach Fuzz. I thought it went really well. The blusher I have on is from Pout and Shout and it is Contrary Mary. The highlighter is from Kaleidos and it is their Space Age highlighter in the shade Skywalker. And to top it all off, I went in with the Sailor Moon and Colourpop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Sailor Moon. I just thought it was the perfect match for this look. Really nice glossy lip. So, yes, finished look number two. I'm really happy with it. I, I cannot tell you how much. I am loving this palette. It's just so beautiful. So now let's move on to look number three. So for look number three, I'm going to be starting with Queen of Blades, the deep matte green. I'm taking that on a Spectrum A12. And I'm going to just first be marking out where I want it to go. These shades are so pigmented, but they all blend so well. I've been having so much fun playing with this palette. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So I want to take it so that it's showing when I look forwards above my crease. And then onto the outer edge of my lid there. And then just to make sure I've got the shape just gently pulling that down onto the lower lash line. This colour is so beautiful. I love that there's a depth for whatever look you want to do. You can get the depth you want. And you really did do a fantastic job with this colour story. I cannot get over it. I'm really sorry if I seem a little bit off today. I am in so much pain but this cheers me up <laughs> so now we've got that color placed down I'm just going to gently tap on the edges just to blend them ever so slightly out next I'm going to be going in to gravity and I'm going to be taking that on this Morphe fluffy brush and just going over, firstly stamping. This colour is absolutely gorgeous. It is the most beautiful, beautiful green. And dragging that underneath as well. And just gentle blending circles. Just mini, mini blending circles across the edge there. And then bringing that into the inner part of my eye there under the brow. Again, just stamping around the edge first and then little, little blending circles in there this is definitely my favorite color in this palette it's so oh I just want to slather my face in it the color is just perfect absolutely perfect 
they're so gorgeous and then just going back in with a bit of queen of blades just want to just stamp a bit more in there gently blend it up and into gravity so i'm super happy with how that is looking i'm going to nip off pop on some nyx glitter primer and then come back to continue glitter primer on i'm going to be dipping into astro using this little morphe flat brush and just placing that just on the very outer edge here but taking at an angle this is just going to be our kind of blend into the matte shade and then with another little morphe flat brush i am going to go in with firefly and Firefly is going to be going over the rest of the lid. Oh, look at that. So it's a slightly flakier formula, so I'm patting it on. Oh, isn't that the most beautiful shade? Just patting it over the edge of Astro there. And back in with just a little bit of Astro. And just to tap back over there. Oh, beautiful. Then going back in with a bit of the Queen of Blades. Just going to go back in and deepen up that outer V there. I love the depth that this palette has. I'm just popping a bit of glitter primer, the NYX glitter primer on the inner corner here. And just a little bit under. And then just using the same little Morphe brush, I am going to go into You're My Only Hope. Again, it's a little bit of a flaky one, so uh, patting it on. Wow. And just blending it a little bit into the green at the start of the lid there. And bringing it down onto the lower lash line. This colour story is just absolutely amazing. So much you can do with it. just going to take the tiniest amount of your my only hope just put up under the brow there I am so happy with how this look is turning out so I'm gonna nip off finish my face and then I'll come back to show you finished look number three okay guys so here is finished look number three Let me know in the comment section below which one's your favourite, one, two or three. I'll just let you know what else I've popped on my face. So in my waterline I've got the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Extra Frosting. The liner on my lid is the Cake It Liner from Artitude Cosmetics in the shade Harmony. This is so beautiful. I love the Cake It Liners from Artitude Cosmetics. 
Um, the mascara is the Barium That's How I Roll. The lashes are from Artitude Cosmetics, they're in the style Envy. The blusher is from Pout and Shout, it is Sensitive Sally. The highlighter is from Kaleidos, it is the Space Age highlighter in the shade Skywalker. And finally the lipstick I've popped on is from Lime Crime, it is their matte velveteens in the shade Cashmere. So, I've now done my first impressions video and three looks, so let's have a chat about the Club Nebula palette. Firstly, the packaging is everything absolutely gorgeous it's got the raised writing the detail in it is it's just amazing just so beautiful and then on the inside these shades are they blend beautifully they've got so much pigment my favorite shades have to be i think yeah i can't i can't pick a favorite I have loved every single shade I've used in this palette. I now want more from Kaleidos. So much more. <laughs> How have I slept on this brand? How? I don't know. <laughs> I would say that the palette is... Would I say it's beginner friendly? Yes, I would. I would say it's beginner friendly because whilst there is quite a lot of pigment, you can go in lighter and put less on. Um, but it blends so beautifully, so I think yeah, this is this is kind of a palette for anyone who wants uh, wants some colour in their life. So we'll head off to Club Nebula. Angie has done the most amazing job with this colour story. It's just beautiful. It's Angie in a palette, definitely. So I am definitely going to be playing with this palette more. 100% it is so so beautiful absolutely gorgeous there are so many options for looks with this palette I love that you've got your lighter shades like for blending out you can deepen up the look so anything you go in with there is a deepening shade that will go with it it's just I'm so so impressed I absolutely love it so my uh, final thoughts, worth every penny, absolutely worth every penny. It is such an amazing, amazing palette. So today is Tuesday and hopefully you will be seeing this video today and then tomorrow it is being restocked. I think there's only a limited amount of palettes but the restock is tomorrow. If you want this palette, I would be on that website quick tomorrow because this is going to sell out so quickly I just know it is it's just such a beautiful palette so that is going to be it from me for today so I hope you've enjoyed this video please let me know what you think in the comment section below do you like this three looks one palette style video let's have a chat if you have liked this video, please give it a like, a thumbs up. It really helps me out. If you're not subscribed already, then I hope you'll consider sticking around. I am a lover of all things makeup, but mainly colourful. And I focus mainly on indie brands because that's where my heart lies. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then please do hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the next time I upload. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.